Okay, uh, it's, hi, it's Casey. Uh, I don't know if I'm totally in frame here. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about the scene that I'm working on for the gloves to show some of the mappings that you can do with these sweet, amazing gloves. Um, I've got the left hand here is mapped to a bass note, depending on the direction of my hands. And the right hand is mapped to a pad that is playing chords depending on the direction of my hands. The left hand fit, uh, if I make a fist, it's gonna trigger a tremolo, sound, uh, tremolo effect for the bass sound. And if I roll my wrist, it's gonna pitch bend the bass sound. And if I point with my finger, it's gonna trigger an arpeggiator for the bass sound. And then with my right hand, if I roll it, it's gonna open and close the filter. And if I make a fist, it's going to trigger a stutter effect <clears throat> for the pad. And then the last thing I have is if I, if I put my arms down, it's gonna turn notes off. That's how I do the notes off for the whole, for muting everything. Uh, but if my hand, if my hand is down, my left hand, the fingers are going to control the volume of a couple of percussion loops as a way of kind of setting which percussion loops I want to have playing at any given time. So let's see if I can get this to work here. Unmute. Oh, I also have uh, the buttons set to setting forward direction to correct for yaw drift. So let's do that first here. Okay, so the drum loops I can bring in with my fingers. Let me turn that up a little bit. Here we go. So if I just pull my index finger in, that's gonna bring in the uh, cymbals and the snare. And I'll bring in the rest of it. So that's fun. It's a way to get the drums going. So I'll, I'll keep those all in right now, and then when I bring my hands up, it'll bring in the note or the bass and the pads. So I find that that uh, having the the pad filter mapped to your wrist really is really a natural feeling to play because it you kind of your arms kind of want to move that way anyway Whoop. so uh like i was talking about i have the different chords mapped to different directions so i'll go like this 